Hi, I'm Wendy from Dr. Levy and Associates office. In our last video, Stages of Tooth Decay, we talked about the four main stages. Today, we're going to focus on the first stage, demineralization. Foods with carbohydrates like bread, cereal, milk, soda, fruit, and candy feed the bacteria that stick to your teeth, forming plaque. These bacteria eat up any sugar they can find and form acids. The bacteria, acid, food debris, and your saliva combine to form plaque, which clings to your teeth. These acids cause enamel to lose minerals, such as calcium. Losing minerals is called demineralization. The process weakens your tooth's protective layer. Consuming acidic foods and drinks also contributes to demineralization. The worst offenders are lemon and orange juice, cola, sports and energy drinks, and most alcoholic beverages. If you can't brush your teeth after consuming these beverages, at least swish with water for a few seconds. If you have teeth, you're at risk for cavities. Some things raise your chances. Clingy foods and drinks. Foods like sugar, soda, milk, ice cream, cereal, and chips are more likely to stay on your teeth and cause decay. In this diagram, the items to the left are the most acidic, with lemon being the most acidic food. You can see that even tomatoes and coffee are acidic. Milk is slightly acidic with a pH of 6, in addition to containing sugar. So swish with water after you drink milk. Water is neutral in the middle of the scale. Water is the best drink for your teeth. Poor brushing. When you don't brush your teeth after eating and drinking, plaque and decay have a chance to form. Use a soft toothbrush and gently brush all the way to the gum line. There's no need to scrub real hard. Scrubbing hard can also damage and push back the gums, causing gum recession. This can also lead to gum disease. The idea is to gently dislodge the sticky, soft, loose plaque that accumulates on your teeth. Imagine gently massaging every surface of your tooth for two minutes, twice a day. That's all it takes. Not flossing. Plaque can collect between your teeth in areas where the toothbrush just doesn't reach. When a patient asks me whether or not they should floss all of their teeth, I tell them, just floss the teeth you want to keep. Yes, all of them. Again, the idea is to gently dislodge the plaque that's between your teeth. A lack of fluoride. This mineral, found in toothpaste, mouthwash, and some tap water, helps to prevent cavities and can reverse early tooth damage. All ADA-approved toothpaste contain fluoride. You can receive a fluoride treatment at your dentist office. It's often applied to your teeth in the form of a gel or a varnish. Fluoride works to strengthen enamel, making it more resistant to acids produced by plaque bacteria. Having a dry mouth. Saliva washes away food and plaque from your teeth and helps prevent tooth decay. The use of tobacco, health conditions, and medications can dry out your mouth. Acid reflux disease. This condition forces stomach acids into your mouth and wears down your teeth, also causing cavities. Knowing what causes cavities and avoiding them at home is your first line of defense. The second is your dentist. If you hear your dentist say, put a watch on tooth number nine, that means your top front tooth's enamel has demineralized and that in future visits, the dentist will monitor that tooth for further decay. 
Sadly, there are no dental products that will restore enamel, which makes it important to keep up with great home care, such as brushing and flossing daily, and see your hygienist and dentist regularly. In our next video, we'll focus on what happens when bacteria enter more deeply into your teeth and the watch becomes a cavity.